And the women's middleweight finals, we have Hanette Stack of Andre Nagao. She is the black belt. And Monica Vanessa Silva of Sandro Bala and Julio Pudin. This is an interesting final because it pits a black belt against a brown belt. Now hopefully in the next couple of years, they'll have enough competitors to isolate everybody per belt. A little grip fighting going on. Trying to get a dominant grip. Guy Ritchie chatting up his uh, girl right there, second row, background. Probably a recent conquest. Shoving my regards, Guy. Ah, he must have said something wrong. She's leaving. Taking the Louis Vuitton bag with her. <laughs> Right-handed grips by both girls. Well, Hanet has a right-handed grip. Monica actually only has a sleeve grip, which is a little bit, leaves her at a disadvantage. We're looking for uh, the far side arm dominance. Yeah. Annette's winning the grip fighting battle right now. She's got a collar sleeve to Monica's two sleeves, which can be good, but uh, not while not while the, the opponent has a grip with themselves. Still lots of uh, jockeying foot position going on. Neither side being too eager. I haven't really seen any setups for any takedowns yet. Now we get a jump to the closed guard by Hanet and his stack. And right Looks away like going on the arm track. Yeah, almost beat the arm across the center line. Oh, Monica's looking to pull the, the, the lapel over Hanet's arm at the elbow. Good defense by Hanet to realize that could be potential danger. Kind of an old one. Pull the collar over the arm and put it behind her back. Looking deep in the collar. Yeah. Start attacking the neck. She's on the sleeve. Potential scissor sweep here to the left. Yeah, she should go after that neck right there. There she goes, because uh, Monica didn't even flinch when she put that hand in the collar. And dragging the arm across at the same time. Just gonna break that elbow down, pass, just pass it to the side. She's still got that hand deep in that collar. I think Monica needs to bring her head underneath that or release that grip. That's not something you wanna mess around with. Okay, she's fairly insistent on beating that arm across the center line while one hand's deep in the collar, giving her two things to think about. Bring the match back to the center. And that gi wrap is a little high on the elbow to, yeah. to do anything at this point. It's not going to do much damage right now. I'd like to see Hanette keep making that hand a little bit deeper as time goes on. Just little by little, now she's got an angle on the arm. Oh, I can't see the rev is in the way. It looks like she went on that arm for a split second. It does look like it. It looks like she went on the arm. Monica did a nice job of stacking, but now uh, I think her arm is dragged across the body there. You can see her right hand kind of underneath there. Mm -hmm. And that's armpit. Dangerous position for Monica right now. She's got to keep that right leg posted. If she doesn't post that right leg, Annette's going to be on her back in no time. Now, now if she does get a hold uh, of the pant leg and she sweeps directly over her head and then out to the left, can she still base with that post leg? Uh, yeah, that, that post leg is pretty, pretty strong in that position. Uh, I think uh, Annette would have to start coming around to the back a little bit more, maybe get a, a right-handed underneath grip on that leg, and then she may not be able to keep that leg out there. Annette has a lot of options here. She's got a great angle. Here she comes out to the back. 
Now that's an angle she may be able to sweep from here. Yeah. This, she's yep, really yep. out there. That would have been her opportunity right there. She might have been able to sweep her to the backside there. So she's still got lots of position, a lot of things she can do from here. She could attack either arm. She could still try to sweep. And go to the back. Hanette's, Hanette's right arm underhook. Should she move closer to that elbow to try and extend that defensive arm out? Yeah, I'd like to see her do that. Uh, that's a good grip she's got to hold that bottom arm in, but she seems to not be going on that arm, so I'd like to see her get up on that elbow. Get out on that elbow, start bringing that arm up towards her head, and create a, a dilemma, as uh, John Danaher would say. Yeah, the dilemma given you two possible answers, neither which are okay. That's right. She's still trying to take the back there. I think you're right, Sean. I think she needs to get out to that elbow. She's pulled that elbow right to her head, and that's going to really make a sticky situation yeah. for Monica. It's hard to see if uh, Monica's arm is bent or if that... Uh, that, uh, that uh, Arm across the chest is extended. It's hard to see, but you know what? I think Monica has that gi kind of pushing down on Hanette's arm mm. and kind of kept her at bay a little bit there. Yeah. Now she's looking for posture. Right away, that hand goes in. Yeah. Needs to bring her head underneath that hand. I don't like that hand being deep in the collar. Even with uh, our white belts, I don't like that hand being in that dead, dead deep in the collar. I, you can't can't let someone land their hand that deep there. Yeah, you're more than halfway there. Yeah, with that first hand that deep. She's got an underhook grip going out on the Udagatami. Monica's got to realize that the time is just ticking away. And now she just got called for stalling. And that's doing enough in her closed guard where she'll win this match if it's zero to zero. Yep. She's getting angles. She's walking the guard up high, trying yeah. to isolate an arm. Continually with one hand deep trying to beat that arm across the center line. Now Monica's up, that's the right thing to do. She needs to open that guard. She was a little bit slow putting the knee in the tailbone. I, I, I thought she was gonna in, initiate a knee to the middle pass. Yep, she's got seven and three quarters minute through the match. She doesn't have a lot of time left to work. She's gotta realize that time is ticking down. Deep. Hanette's had her in a number of uh, precarious situations. I would like to see Hanette be a bit more aggressive for the finish. Yeah, me as well. I think she uh, knows she's in the lead. Playing it a little bit safe. Playing think? a little safe. Didn't feel any risk that uh, Monica was going to open her guard. So just letting time peel away but now she's gonna find herself up on the feet. So we've got a stalling call and a two point awarded to Hanette. Now that's a big, big thing to come back with this late in the match. Now even a takedown doesn't win. So now she can, she can take her down, but Hanette's still gonna be up by one advantage. So grips and I bet she's going to go right back to the guard. Yeah, and that time is on her side right now. 8.45 through the match. She's got a minute left to work. <laughs> There's not a lot of time to no, be standing she, around. She definitely needs to open up and take some risks. Yeah. 
Yeah, she needs to get this party started. Yeah, and that's going to be happy just uh, resisting any takedowns, staying away. Whoa, beautiful Ooh. flying arm lock <laughs> attempt. Yeah, I love to see a try like that. Yeah, that was really nice. Uh, yeah. Nice try. Annette finds herself on the top in the half guard, but uh, props off to, to Monica for giving that a whirl. Absolutely. Under a minute left. It's now or never. Yeah, she's stuck. Annette's not going to move yeah, out of that position. Yeah, it's a bad position to be in. Her arms are... She's got an overhook. Uh, it's, it's, she's, too, she's too low on the hips to get that deep half guard working. Yep. She is stuck. And that's doing a good job. Oh, there. She got her head free. She can get underneath there now, but is it too late? It's too late to go back to close guard. She's going to have to open up, and there you go. Time expires. That's the match. So, Hinette Stack, 2009 world champ, middleweight. Making Andre Nagal very proud. Fought a very strategic match. Well done. And Guy Ritchie's girlfriend just returned with a set of snacks just in time to see the hand raise. <laughs> Hanette Stack, women's middleweight, gold medalist at the 2009 Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Mundials, the world championship. 